You know, alright, this place is getting too much for me. I'm leaving. I don't know what got into me after that, but I just couldn't stop running. I just kept running and running and running until I finally got home. And honestly, there was nowhere else I would have rather been. After that, I don't really remember what happened. I think I just went to sleep and try not to think about it. Yet, it seemed like no matter what I did, it didn't matter. My head was just flooded with countless theories. What if he was trying to kill me? Was that the scream of another person? Was it just an animal? Regardless, I suppose, in the end, these thoughts did lull me to sleep. And after quite some time, I did find rest. And after that rest, I just went back to school and continued about my usual day-to-day -day routine. Talking to classmates I didn't care about and listening to teachers rant about subjects that didn't interest me. And just like that, what transpired yesterday held nothing more than a mere iota of space in the back of my mind. Something which could not be said for the students, unfortunately, who had been chattering with much more fervor and excitement than usual. And so without much else to do, I just went to check what they were looking at. And then I saw one of their phones they were looking at this